Hey guys, this is AI Gaming1776, and I've got an interesting best settings video for you today. Now, this is Ghost Recon Wildlands again at 1440p, again doing best settings, again, but with a twist. Well, first of all, this is the fourth computer fit configuration that I'm going to show you. I've shown you three other configurations. Uh, I've shown you 1070, GTX 1070 configurations, GTX 1080. TI configuration. I've shown you air cooled, water cooled, i5s, i7s. Now I'm showing you the fourth system. This is a water cooled 6700K at 4.7 gigahertz at the end of the video or at some point during this video. I'll, I'll actually show you on hardware monitor. It is a 6700K, 4700 megahertz is what it'll say there, but that's 4.7 gigahertz. Um, that's the system we're using today. All right. Now, the twist on this best settings video is I'm going to show you my suggestion for what the best settings are versus somebody else's settings. And it is a person who is critical of my settings. Uh, they want to suggest different settings and we're going to try them. Now he says he got them off of a forum. I think if I remember at the end of this video, we'll go ahead and like pull up the video and we'll go to the comments and we'll look to double check. But I'm pretty sure he said that he got this off of a forum, all right? So here we go. We're starting off with his. And as you noticed, we've had pretty much a locked 60 FPS as we sit here, all right? So already it's looking pretty good for this dude's settings. So he says, go to borderless window, set a frame rate limit of 60 FPS. You're basically capping the frame rate at 60 FPS. Again, borderless window, go to graphics, go to the very high preset, done easy peasy very very easy and as you can see we are at a locked 60 fps over here right now i'm using this island because in my last video i was on this island so it helps give a little bit of consistency to do back to back but what i'm actually going to do is we're about to fast travel i think to a different safe house because there's something else i want to show you guys so let's see got to remember it's where the it's over by the sniper rifle yeah all right so then we fast travel to that's the closest safe house all right cool so i'm going to show you his best settings again it's basically the very high preset and it's in borderless window mode and then i'll show you my best settings and there's pros and cons to each right all right there and listen guys when i make these videos all I care about, and I'm being dead serious and being very honest with you, all I care about is helping the PC gaming community out, showing you guys how games honestly and truthfully perform, and it doesn't have to be all about me. If you like these settings better than the settings that I suggest, then feel free to use them and my feelings won't be hurt. The only thing is, is I hope that by me putting them both in the same video, um it'll be helpful for you in making that decision. All right. Um, here's the thing. So here's the pros and cons. His suggestion does give better performance, a lot better. As you can see, we're not at a perfect 60 FPS, but that's probably because we're recording with shadow play and I record at 4k 60 FPS quality, even though we're playing in 1440 P and I do that for a reason I do that because it makes the video look better for you guys when you watch it but that means it's going to affect the frame rate when I'm not using shadow play in all honesty uh, these settings can almost keep a locked 60 FPS now there is still some stuttering when the game auto saves which is it turns out to be an issue with this game when the game auto saves there is still some stuttering that happens even though the game says 60 fps don't always put all of your um bets on the frame rate don't always just put all your stock in the frame rate if you will so as you can see when we started the game out it is possible even with shadow play for there to be a locked 60 fps and then once we started playing the game for real with shadow play we've seen the frame rate kind of fluctuate a little bit but overall it's been a pretty good frame rate so the pro is his recommendation does play much more smoothly. All right. 
his recommendation honestly does give a better frame rate experience as far as there's not as much rubber banding. The settings that I suggest to you guys actually go into the 40s for the frame rate and go as high as the 80s for the frame rate. So there is a, a bigger frame rate range. But the thing is, is on my systems, the game still plays smoothly. And I think the stuttering that I've run into, and I've pointed it out in my videos, I've never said that my videos make it so the game doesn't stutter. Um, I think a lot of that comes to the auto-saving, to be honest with you. Because I still, when this game, um, when this game auto-saves with these settings, there's still some stutter. Now, I wanted to go over here for performance reasons. Um, and it's a little bit hard though to show you the textures really well without getting into a firefight which causes variables but um, what I plan on doing in the second run here is actually getting that sniper rifle there's a sniper rifle in there in case you don't know there's a sniper rifle with pretty decent stats right here if you want to see what those stats are come on buddy huh I don't know why it's not showing up in the window, but normally, like, the stats of that sniper rifle show up. There. Will that do it now? There we go. See? So those are some pretty good stats. I mean, rate of fire is not too high. Handling's not too high. But um, everything else, pretty darn good. All right, so I'm going to get rid of that. Anyway, second run through, I'm actually going to fight these dudes, and I'm going to take that sniper rifle. But this is showing his, his, uh, his settings. So, look. Bottom line, not going to harp on it too much. His settings make the game play more smoothly. You're less likely to experience stuttering. Um, even though it still stutters with these settings, it's not as bad. So what are the cons of using his settings? Well, there are some cons. Namely, in my opinion, it's not as crisp as the settings that I recommend. It's not as pretty as the settings that I recommend. Right? When I talk about best settings, I mean making the game look good and making the game crisp and making the game feel good, like the whole package. And this game gives you the luxury, in my opinion, it can go down to about 48 frames per second and it can still feel good. As a matter of fact, we're going to, we're going to go to my settings now. So we're going to take it out of the borderless. We're going into full screen now. Hopefully this is still recording. And then we're going to get rid of that frame rate cap. Now, the guy who's commented on my videos doesn't seem to understand that he's commented on a 1080 Ti video and a GTX 1070 video. And he doesn't seem to maybe understand that. So this is a 1070 video, to be clear. And with a 1080 Ti for resolution scaling, I put it to 1.1. But uh, with a 1070, we're going to do 1.0. Now, we're probably going to have to go back to the um, um, the title screen when we do this. But it shouldn't take too long. All right, so check this out. A very high preset. We're going to bump it up to SMAA. All right, it was at Temporal AA. We're bumped up to SMAA. We're leaving ambient occlusion alone. Draw distance, we're leaving it alone. Level of detail, we're leaving it alone. Texture quality is up to ultra, though. Anisotropic filtering is up to 16. Shadow quality, we're actually going to put down to high for now. We might put it back up to very high in a minute. Terrain quality goes up to ultra. Vegetation goes up to ultra. See, everything I'm doing is going to make the game look better just by default. I'm choosing higher quality settings. Furthermore, though, in my opinion, borderless windowed mode is not as sharp as... Um, full screen it's just not to me borderless window mode to me always feels like my glasses are dirty or i'm looking through a dirty window all right so motion blur i'm going to turn that off iron this i'm not changing this not changing that 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 not ch okay so so to double check we're gonna make sure actually let's go ahead and go i'm pretty sure i got that right so let's go back we don't need to drag this video out forever. I, I do know that my videos can go a little long. But I show you guys things in a somewhat thorough manner. I try to, um, 
Why is it doing that? I try to show you guys how you can expect a game to perform. Now we might actually have to um, exit the desktop and go back in if the time of day is a bad time of day when the game loads because I do want the lighting to be similar. We had early in the day lighting at the start of the video. All right, so here's my settings. Um, I know we're hopping around here, but this is this is where we start. Come on, buddy. This is where we started with the other dude settings. Now, where we're going, his settings had a locked 60 FPS. Did not budge from a locked 60 FPS. So let's see what my settings do. All right, my settings, shh, they're at 59. 60, what's going to happen as we move around? 68, 69, 70, 72. All right, and again, we're recording with Shadowplay. Now, here's the thing, and you can scrub through the video. You can go back to the beginning, and you can see what you think. But I feel like my settings that I recommend are sharper. Like, especially when you look at the denim in her pants, like that is crisp like the I actually chose that denim in this chick's pants because I like how the light hits it I like how it's an interesting texture it's not just you know like khakis it's like it actually looks like jeans it actually has characteristics that jeans would have when you look at that texture quality now to be fair I actually think the previous settings the settings that that guy recommended that he got off a of forum I do think that they look good. I don't think they look like garbage, but I like this better. To me, this is cleaner, okay? So then that's gonna be the common theme of the settings that I use. My settings, I, I'm now using ultra textures. I'm now using um, ultra terrain, ultra grass. Um, what else did I bump up? Actually, oh wait a minute, can we bump shadows up? Because we're on high shadows now. We might have to do with high shadows. We might not get to use very high. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sold on the shadows yet. Let's let's fast travel to the other area before we put that decision in stone. But I've chosen better settings, and I've chosen to put the game in full screen. I think what I have recommended is crisper, and I think that definitely helps when you um. Again, we go back to where the sniper rifle is, which is it here? Yes, it is, which means we fast travel to this. All right. So what's the downside to my settings? Well, the downside of my settings is worse performance. You're going to you're going to get a lower you're going to get more rubber banding in the frame rate and you're going to get a lower frame rate overall. Um there were there were times where his settings went down to like 53, 54 frames per second kind of like what you see here. But with my settings, it could go into the 40s. You could see 45, even 48 frames per second. All right. Look, I'm trying to be very honest. I'm trying to be very objective in what it is I tell you in my videos. And yeah, there are cons to my settings. You're going to get more rubber banding. It's not going to be as close. You're going to get closer to a 60 FPS experience doing it the other way. All right. But in my opinion, it's nowhere near as sharp as this. Like the dirt in particular is so much sharper when you use ultra textures and ultra terrain and look at it in full screen. Um, and the sharpness matters to me. And really, I like sharpness even for something practical when I'm doing combat. Look, when I'm looking at this grass right now, I can see individual stalks of grass there or plants or whatever, whatever this green stuff is here on the ground. Like I can see all the individual blades of grass, all the individual plants. I love that, right? Like if you don't have it as crisp and popping as much, it all kind of blends together. Now in a YouTube video, even like look at this dude's beanie. Look how crisp his beanie is. Look how nice his little fake leather jacket is. Like that looks good. Oh, and we went down to 44 frames per second while I was doing that. Can I make it go to 44 again? Hey buddy, come here. We're trying to, we're trying to do a demonstration. This is a different guy. Come on. You. All right, I can't line up the, uh, 49, 45, 43. There we go. So we're down to 44 frames per second again. So yeah, with my settings, 
you're going to see a bigger window of fluctuation. With his settings, it's going to be more like that more constant 60 FPS experience. And for a lot of people, I think they're going to prefer that. I think some people are going to be like, no, I want a more constant 60 FPS experience. But here's the deal. In my opinion, at least on my hardware, I've been lucky enough to see this on my hardware. In my opinion, even when this game is like 48 frames per second, it still feels pretty damn smooth. And if there was not a frame rate counter on the screen, I probably wouldn't know it was 48 frames per second. Also keep in mind, again, we're using shadow play. So that causes the frame rate to fluctuate. Actually, what we're seeing here, um, when we're driving on this road, it's going down to 48 frames per second over here. Um, I think it fluctuated a little bit with his settings. At least it did on one of my runs before. And I think his might have gone down. I keep saying his. He got him from a forum. There was a stutter. I felt a stutter. It went into the 30s. All right. And that, that's going to happen. Okay. We're in an open world game. Different parts of the map are going to load. And again, I've now found out through a little bit of reading that the autosave feature in this game is causing some of the stuttering. So yeah, I experienced a brief stutter. It's not a constant 60 FPS to play it the way I have chosen to play it. But I'm telling you, it's a little bit of stuttering, right? It's a little bit. It's um, like we're at 44 frames per second. Honestly, if that frame rate counter wasn't there, I would not know the frame rate. If you, if you asked me, and I, look, I'm looking, I'm not even looking at the frame rate counter right now. I would say this feels like it's playing in the 50s. It could pass for 60. It doesn't feel like a perfect, milky, solid 60. Like when 60 is like a nailed rock solid 60. But it feels like it's in the 50s and it feels fine. It's some, there are some games where you can't say that. There are some games that play very terribly um, in the 40s and 50s. In my opinion, on my hardware, in my experience, this game is not one of those games. See... Here, I've been wondering if that's going to be a better sniper rifle than the one I'm using. So I'm using this sniper rifle. Oh, wait a minute. Do I need to switch here and then go here? Let's try this. All right. Sorry, but I've been wondering if... Oh, yeah, every almost every stat. The rate of fire is lower... Noise reduction should be similar once I put the thing on. Accuracy is better. Damage is better. I'm not going to mess with it in this video, though. I'm going to go with what I know. All right, so we're over here. I feel like the light is more harsh with my settings. I feel like the dirt pops better. I feel like there's more separation, more contrast with my settings. But you guys might disagree. You guys, here, I'll do what I did in the last video. I think I walked over to some water over here. I think that my settings look better and the game is still smooth and it still feels good. And we're using a 1070. Uh, we're not even using a 1080 Ti in this video. And this guy, he made it sound like his 1080 Ti is giving him problems in the game. Well, we're using a 1070 right here and it, it's doing fine. Again, it's not locked 60 FPS. I never said it was. It's not stutter free. I never said it was. Here, let me see if there's another cool safe house we can go to uh, with my settings. Do, 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 do. I'm not sure if this is a good one or not, to be honest. Let's see. So much of this map is not easy for me to digest. It's a, it's a very confusing map, and maybe that's my lack of brain power. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you guys don't find the map confusing at all, but compared to other games... I feel like a lot of other games um, are not as confusing. I don't like that time of day. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to quit the desktop. I'm going to show you the hardware. Then we're going to pop back in with a different time of day. So 6700K, you can see up here. Voltage, yeah, I use a lot. I, I even showed you guys that. I normally don't show you the voltage because I'm embarrassed. But for me to get a stable 4.7 gigahertz, yeah, I, I had to go up there pretty high with the voltage. But it's 4.7 gigahertz. It's stable. It's a 6700K. Um, I don't know if you even want to see this right now. 
I was going to show you this at the at the very end of the video. And then what was the other thing I said? Oh, you know we can look at the guy's comment while I remember. So we're gonna look at we're gonna look at his comment. He's very um. How do I word this? How do I, see that's that's just in my way. Get out of my way. Actually, you know what? Eh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do it. Uh, do, 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 do. My recent YouTube videos don't have a lot of views. You're going to have a chance to notice that. It's real weird. Some of my uh, performance demonstration videos, they get 50,000 views. Some of them get 100 views. And I legit do not know why. I don't, I don't promote anything on my channel. I don't promote anything. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. So here's what the dude has to say. Ah, come on. Here's what the dude has to say. He says, again, some choices here which are going against the grain due to how the engine is built and what people are using. Frame rates. Frames set to... All right, I'm going to have to read that better. Frames set to off is not recommended. You need 60 FPS limit as the engine will give you more stutter... I'm thinking the channel's creator isn't sensitive to seeing this. Not everyone is. The game's engine isn't optimized above 30 FPS as that was the target for consoles. It does 60, but not without issues. You go above 60, you hit frame pacing issues. That's not entirely wrong. There is a little bit of rubber banding to it. Like I said, if the original settings that this guy recommends give you closer to the constant 60 FPS, my issue is the game is not as crisp. It's not as sharp. I have a $400 graphics card. I want the game to look sharp, but I want I want it to feel good. I don't want it to feel bad. I don't want it to stutter so much that I can't handle it, right? But I might put up with a little bit of stutter here and there um, to have it look sharper, to have it look crisper, to have my textures be more rich. Anyway, he says it does 60, but not without issues. You go above 60, you have frame pacing issues. This is the same for some other releases like Dishonored 2 or recently near. All right, here's the thing. Dishonored 2 plays like garbage for me it's up there with arkham knight i can't play this i can't play dishonor 2 either not even with the 1080 ti um so then he goes on to say you say about using adaptive v-sync and game I almost dude i really so i'm sitting the way i have my recording set up set i'm like four feet away from the screen and i'm having trouble seeing the words i'm i'm not as bad as reading as it seems you say about using adaptive v-sync and game no, the V-Sync is broken. I, I said that. I said in my videos that regular V-Sync plays badly, but adaptive V-Sync plays fine for me. Anyway, people are setting that to off running the game borderless. You keep using full screen and using fast sync and NVIDIA control panel, which usually doesn't work too well without V-Sync used in game. People are finding it seems with smooth. The fr maybe English is not this dude's first language. I don't know. I'm having trouble reading this. Or maybe I'm not good at reading one or the other. For best results, people are setting the frame to its very own high setting. To its own very high setting. This is with the TIs like myself. Again, he's made comments like this. This time he did make it on a 1080 Ti video. But he also made it on a 1070 video. So I don't know if he knows that You know they're not the same thing. And leaving it at that. Resolution scaling should stay as it is and shouldn't be messed with because that's another setting widely known to not be optimized and working correctly. Um, he's saying that because in my 1080 Ti video, I upped resolution scaling to higher than 1440p because it makes the game even smoother and shinier and prettier. I love it at 1.1 resolution scaling. Okay, he says, I use HBAO plus ambient occlusion as the Ti can certainly handle that. And there's no need for SSBC. If you put that resolution scaling back to one, you would be able to use it without issue and a better visual. That's for any monitor. All the above is on forums, Reddit, YouTube, and where you read about this game and the issues it has. I find it curious you do your own thing, which flies in the face of general trial and error by the community, and then state on your video, guys, this is the best settings. Well, so here's the thing. Again, I've been, I'm starting the game back up with my settings. Like I said, if all you care about, like if you go to the church of you wanting a consistent frame rate, like you don't want to swing between 48 and 70 frames per second. If you have to have it 
very consistent and yes do what this person says go to borderless window go to the very high preset but the thing is it's kind of like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. on my hardware the stuttering is not that bad now maybe on your hardware the stuttering is atrocious again Arkham Knight I'm going to keep using that example Arkham Knight plays very poorly for me but it plays well for other people allegedly that's what people say they say it plays well for them well Arkham Knight still plays very badly for me so I've shown you on four different systems that my settings play really well on four different systems two i5s included in that two i7s included in that three 1070s and a 1080 Ti air cooled water cooled big overclocks small overclocks medium sized overclocks no overclocks I've shown you guys this huge wide range of comparisons uh, when it comes to the hardware and I just honestly 100% that these are my settings you see right here even recording at 4k 60 FPS shadow play um, I don't know if you guys can see my shadow play overlay can you see that I just pulled it up I don't know if it if it shows up in the recording it might not um, customize ah oh, stop recording to customize never mind never mind it won't let me show you but this is a 4k 60 FPS for a 1440p video all right and look how sharp this is with my settings you can see every single individual blade of grass the tree doesn't look that great don't look at the tree don't don't look the tree is eh. but the grass on the ground it, you can see every little individual blade of grass which means a lot to me the camel back on this character that I created is kind of like the Air Force blue digital camo and I chose that because in 1440p with the settings that I use with the ultra textures and the level of detail at very high you can see that like that looks nice that little digital camo like I I love crisp sharp wonderful things and yeah again i'm beating a dead horse i beat dead horses in my videos like i have a i have a dead horse beating business if you will but the point is i think the textures look better with my settings i think the graphics are sharper with my settings and on my hardware the game doesn't stutter very much it stutters I'm not gonna lie to you and say it doesn't stutter at all I'm, I'm a very honest person and I'm willing to show you in one video one live continuous unedited demonstration my settings versus someone else's settings because that's how honest I'm willing to be with you and I'm willing to show you the frame rate counter and all the information on the screen because I have nothing to hide all right but I think I the point was I was saying I'm being honest with you it, it with my settings you're gonna get more stutter with my settings you're gonna get more rubber banding in the frame rate with my settings it's not gonna be married to the church of being as close to 60 FPS as possible but again earlier like I said with throwing the baby out with the bathwater oh let me put on adaptive v-sync which by the way I think we're at very high shadows which I am in yeah we are we're at very high shadows I'm impressed that the game is held up as well as it has with my settings of very high shadows, to be honest. Uh, adaptive. No, 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 no. V-Sync. Adaptive. All right. So, for me, adaptive makes things look even sharper than going with no V-Sync at all. Which, that's its own little argument. Lots of people love to argue with me in the comments. And they're like, that's not how PC gaming works. But, I'm telling you, I have tested adaptive uh, refresh uh, adaptive v-sync uh, no v-sync regular v-sync I've tested g-sync I've tested free sync and if you play a game and you do a B testing um, the image can look a little bit different when you're comparing uh, v-sync to no v-sync to adaptive v-sync to turning your g-sync on if your monitor has it to turning it off or on AMD side to turning FreeSync on if your monitor has it to turning it off. Look how sharp my settings are. Look how you can see all these different trees, all these different bushes, the little roads in the cliff are like really detailed. Now you can see those things on the original settings that that I said to use. Uh, no, that the guy said to use. 
the original settings at the start of this video, you could tell that like the roads are there and things like that, but they're not as distinct. They don't pop as much. The settings I've chosen for you guys offer more pop. So here's the thing to wrap this up. If the game stutters and plays as poorly for you as Arkham Knight still plays for me, then yeah, maybe my settings are not going to work for you. And I fully admit that and my feelings are not hurt if you can't use them. All I ask is you tell me honestly in the comments whether or not my settings work for you. If my settings don't work for you, if the game's playing like garbage for you with my settings, if it's just like out of control. Now you can see, I can't fake this. With my settings, it's stuttered a couple times, but it's not been a constant stutter. It's not been frame rate in the toilet the whole time. Um, it's been pretty balanced performance. It's usually in the, here, let's go ahead and let's land in the trees. What trees do we want to land in? Because trees typically make the frame rate worse. So we're going to fly over here. See, I love how this looks. Like with my settings, with the settings, with the very high preset, like that guy said earlier, he wants you to use the very high preset. He wants you to use borderless window. The textures and those rocks down there aren't going to pop as much while we're flying. All right. All these trees and bushes and everything down here, they're not going to look as distinct as we fly. Now, if that does not matter to you, if like you absolutely... See, here's the thing, guys. Different game engines perform differently. And there are some game engines where if you play at 48 frames per second, it honestly feels like trash. It is very unplayable. It is very unenjoyable. In my opinion, when this game is at 48 frames per second, it's almost as good as 60. It's not as good as 60, but I would say it's 85 to 95 percent as good as 60 okay like if the frame rate counter wasn't on the screen i would not even know when it goes into the 40 sometimes and that's saying a lot if you watch my videos i've posted more than 600 videos on this channel in 200 of those videos i have probably talked about stuttering i have probably complained about how a game performs and 200 out of those 600 videos. That See, I just felt a stutter. I just felt a stutter. I'm not going to hide it from you. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say, no, guys, my settings don't have any stutter at all because that would be dishonest. You do get more stuttering. You do get, you do get more rubber banding. You do get lower minimum frame rates with my settings. But again, I feel like the game is richer and more detailed and more beautiful with the settings that I use. So... I don't know. It's up to you. So let me let me finish by talking about what I was going to talk about a second ago. I think some people are very dogmatic when it comes to saying, well, listen, this is a common thing that I hear. I very commonly hear people say, oh, I would turn down the settings if it meant I had a more stable frame rate. I would. There are people when they talk about console ports that are like, oh, I would rather have on the Xbox One, nine, I just felt a stutter. There are people who say, well, I would rather have 900p on the Xbox One and get a locked 30 FPS versus 1080p and have the frame rate maybe go down to like 24, 26 now and then. Um, I understand that and I respect that. And I think for some games, that's prudent. Again, every game's different. I think for some games, if... If the frame rate fluctuates or if it goes below a certain point, the game feels like a nightmare to play. But on my hardware, on four computers that I've used, I've shown you recording Shadow Play 4K 60 FPS while I show you. Um, it's never felt bad for me. We, we're at like in the 50s for this frame rate with the GTX 1070. We're about to go down a hill. Like I always say that the hills make the frame rate go down. In the last video, they didn't really do that, but I was using a 1080 Ti. In this video, let's see if they do. Usually going down the hills like this hammer my frame rate when I'm not recording. I don't know, maybe my maybe my frame rate's already getting hit from the recording and it's I can't explain it. Going down the hills the last couple times has not really been as bad as I normally see it be. Whatever. Whatever game, make me look bad, that's fine. Look how crisp this is. 
Look how nice it contrasts. My settings have pop, crispness, contrast. The trees in the distance are very sharp. I'm talking about the trees way down there. Those trees. All right. Those trees way back there. All right. Those trees are still sharp, even though they're way in the background. Why? We're using higher textures, higher uh, grass settings, higher terrain settings, higher anisotropic filtering. We're at full screen versus uh, the windowed mode, the borderless window. Look how sharp my settings are, right? Like, I feel like I'm trying to exonerate myself in the court of law, but look how sharp all that detail is and how far away that detail extends. To me, now I feel like I'm playing on a $400 graphics card. When I have to do borderless window and the very high preset, and now I'm using lesser textures, I'm using less anisotropic filtering, I'm using lesser um, uh, terrain and grass, Again, these are my settings here. I mean, we're almost maxed out with my settings. We don't have turf effects on true. We don't have um, God rays enhanced true. We don't have long range shadows on maxed true, but we have higher quality anti-aliasing. We have the same ambient occlusion, the same draw distance, the same detail level, higher quality textures, higher quality anisotropic filtering, the same shadows higher quality terrain, higher quality vegetation. And again, we're at full screen. I'm telling you right now, we're recording with shadow play right now. We probably wouldn't be sitting at 51 frames per second or 50 point whatever if you look at the uh if you're looking at the I'm I have two different frame rate counters. So if you're looking at the afterburner counter, sometimes it looks like it's a frame below cuz it'll be like 50.6 while the yellow one up there, the fraps one will be like 51. Anyway, I feel like the game is still acceptably smooth. Um, it's about 85 to 95% as smooth as it was. Where, who's over here? My settings. Why wouldn't that work? Okay, fine. I'm just going to go live. It's, it's like Bill O'Reilly. F it. I'll do it live. Anyway, my settings are about 85 to 95% as smooth, even when recording with shadow play, as the settings the guy said that you should use. All right? Now, if you dogmatically need it to be closer to 60 FPS or what have you, I get it. Go do it the other way. That's fine. But I honestly feel like it's better to do it my way now i feel a little bit of um not quite stuttering but there is a certain lack of smoothness right now as i'm like flying across this terrain on a dirt bike and some of that might just be because i'm on a dirt bike but i get it like it could be a little smoother but it was also really sharp and look look at this texture work look at that texture work and then look at the anti-aliasing you're not gonna get is sharp of an experience using those other settings so again oh that went i felt it chug and i looked up and it was like at 36 frames per second just now so yeah you got to live with that sometimes with my settings i admit it i fully admit it sometimes it's it's going to go down to a gnarly little frame rate and it's you're going to feel it chug and and i admit it and i'm not lying and i'm not trying to hide it um i still feel like it looks better my way and I feel like it's 85 to 95% is smooth. So for me, this is the win. For me, this is worth it. Like, this is the way to do it. But if you guys disagree, it's PC gaming, and I understand. And I have, I know I've over explained quite a lot in this video, but I feel like when I'm offering settings that do not offer as close to a 60 fps experience as the other settings that i better make my case and again my case is it is sharper with my settings it is cleaner with my settings it is more enjoyable with my settings in my opinion it feels smoother with the other settings no doubt it does feel smoother in borderless window at the very high preset but for that extra 
five to 15% smoothness, I'm also getting an image that doesn't look as good to me. It's not as sharp. The contrast isn't there. It doesn't pop as much. It still looks good. Don't get me wrong. Um, I think a lot of people would probably be happy with it, but, um, I think my settings are better, but there you go. I put both in the same video and, oh, uh, let me, let me say this for my closing argument. Uh, the guy was really bent out of shape in the comment. Uh, he starts off the comment saying that I go against the grain of what he's seen elsewhere. And then throughout the comment, he repeatedly says, that other, he's like, the whole community disagrees with me, basically. Here's the thing about PC gaming, guys. Don't just go with what the community says. Because honestly, sometimes the community is wrong. And sometimes the community gets it right down the road. It is very feasible that the community will change its mind in a couple months or a couple years, right? Not everybody can even play this game at 1440p right now. You need probably at least a GTX 1070 to really enjoy it. I've not tested with a 1060 yet. That's what I'm going to do next is I'm going to see how far I can push it with a 1060 a GTX 1060. But the point is you need probably realistic, like, like a GTX 1070 level graphics card. And while that card has sold well, the majority of graphics cards on the market aren't really at the level to play this at 4k 60 FPS. So as time goes on and as more people get a chance to play this game in 1440p, it is possible that the community will change its mind. The community has changed its mind on things before, right? These things aren't set in stone. This isn't printed up in a Bible. So don't be scared to go against the grain. Don't be scared to find settings that the community doesn't necessarily agree with. See, I'm playing the game right now, and I love this. I love how the trees pop again. We're at 45 frames per second while I say I love it. I just saw that frame rate. No, but I do. I love it. It, Guys, if that frame rate counter wasn't there, if I lied to you and told you this was 60 FPS, I think a lot of you would believe it. Okay? This is pretty good. It feels good. Okay? It feels good, and it looks good. And I love... I'm looking at this tree right here and I just love how sharp all the leaves are and how there's contrast to the different shades of green and how it sways back and forth. And as it sways back and forth, I can notice individual leaves and they're very crisp and they're very sharp and they're very pretty. And I notice that across all the greenery here, all the leaves, all the grass, all of it blowing in the wind, it all pops. And then even the wall over here pops it would pop more if there was more sunlight on it. I can't believe no bad guys have come to get me. I was kind of expecting them to. But like as I walk around right here, that red building pops. The wall here pops. All the trees pop. I love pop, clarity, crispness, um, contrast, smoothness. To me, this is like a milkshake or a smoothie filled with all these great ingredients, right? I'm seeing, like when I stand right here, I see the fence and the dirt and everything in the building, all right? So I see the red building and I see how beautiful the textures are because, again, we're using ultra textures, which the other way we wouldn't have been. I see the ultra ground, the ultra terrain there, the ultra textures. I see the fence popping, the grass popping, even the building to the left pops. And there's depth to this building that I'm looking at right now. That depth is lacking with the other settings. The other settings look like I'm looking through dirty glasses or through a dirty window. And here's the thing, guys. I'll leave it at this. When it comes to the Witcher's game engine, locking that game at 60 FPS is pretty important. Now, I've played it at every resolution with a lot of different hardware. I've played it at 4K 60 FPS with a, with a 1080 Ti and with SLI GTX 1070s. All right, This is not my first rodeo. And... I've played the game, obviously, at 1440p and 1080p. And The Witcher 3, I got to lock it up at 60, all right? I, I set a frame rate limit cap on the game quite frequently. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's a little bit squirrely. Sometimes 
under some uh, conditions with some monitors, with some settings, for some reason, I can leave the frame rate unlocked. But a lot of times I gotta lock it because The Witcher 3 will start playing very poorly for me sometimes, even when it's at like 51, 53 frames per second. So this 48, like the things I'm forgiving in this game, I don't forgive in every game. I am highly picky, all right? And I know I am over, I'm over explaining, I'm over defending myself, but it's for a reason. I know what the F I'm talking about. And just because Reddit and every forum that you ever went to says something different doesn't mean I'm wrong, all right? I've spent over 24 hours testing this on four different computers with more graphics cards than I've even shown you. All right, I've used the GTX 1080 also. I've played the game at 4K. I haven't even talked to you about 4K yet, mainly because it's not that impressive at 4K, if I'm honest. See, I forgive the sub 60 frame rate at 1440p, but at 4K, it's it feels worse. Even with the 1080 Ti, even turning the settings down, um, at 4K, it feels worse. But listen, I'm picky. This is not my first rodeo. Just because Reddit says something different, just because forums say something different, just because you read something different somewhere else does not mean that I'm wrong. All right? So here's how this works. All right? As I wrap this up, I am dead honest with you guys. I showed you in the same video my settings versus the settings that supposedly Reddit and forums and the internet and this other guy think you ought to use. If the other settings work better for you, I have no hard feelings. Honestly, if anything, if watching my video helped you in any way to experience this game better, even if it means choosing the other settings, then I'm still happy, right? All I care about is that this game plays as well as it can for as many people as it can. I want everybody to love their experience playing this game because I love mine. And I'm, look, I'm not trying to be weird about it, but I'm a good person, all right? I'm happy. I want everyone else to be happy. That's that's how I was taught life should be, right? Like I don't want I could sit over here with my four different computers and having it play well on all of them and be like, "Yay, plays well for me." Oh, it stutters for other people too bad. I could make it like an e peen, right? Like I could act like this like my ego is tied into this and be like, "Oh, it doesn't play well for you. Well, sucks for you." I could be one of those people, but I'm not kind of person I am, I want the game to play well for you. I want you to have a good time playing the game. So if this video has helped you, please let me know in the comments. Try my settings out. Try the other settings out. Whatever works best for you, my feelings won't be hurt. That's a lie. My feelings will be hurt a little bit. Like if enough of you just avalanche my comments and like 80% of you say that my settings suck, I'll be a little butt hurt. A little bit. Okay, my feelings will be a little bit hurt, but ultimately, uh, I'll I'll deal with it, right? I'll suck it up and I'll deal with it. And the fact that you're enjoying how the game plays for you is going to be what keeps me warm at night, all right? Hopefully, I've made myself clear. I want to help the PC gaming community. I've worked my ass off trying to find the best settings. I've spent more than 24 hours testing this game at a single resolution. Yeah, I've played with some other resolutions, yes. But the bulk of it's been, matter of fact, here, let's quit the game. Let's go into my Steam and see how many hours it gives me credit for right now. Because it said 24 hours before I made the previous video, before I did more testing, and before I started this video. Now, don't none of you try to, um, don't any of you guys try to do anything shenanigans, right? Like, I don't know if showing you this. Look, 33 hours. 33 hours. 33 hours of testing. I was going to say it was 24 hours um, before I even recorded the other video. I take you guys' criticism seriously. If you're going to tell me that my settings are that bad, if you're going to tell me that other settings are that much better, then I'm going to go try to find out. And again, it's not about my ego. Um, if, if, if the other settings are what end up working for everybody, ultimately I'll make peace with that. My job, as I see it, is to help as many people enjoy the game as I can and that's what I'm here for and that's why in this video I put the other settings and my settings in the same video unedited back to back 
So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Hopefully you've learned something. Hopefully it's been helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'll put the rest of the specs for this computer system in the video and I'll put links to the other videos which also have the specs for those systems and let me know how the game plays for you hopefully you guys uh, understand that you know I'm, I'm coming from a place of honesty and goodwill with you I want you to be able to enjoy the game and hopefully my videos are helping you do that alright thanks for watching guys have yourselves a good one and again let us know in the comments how does the game play for you and let me know if my settings or the other settings like what you thought all right have a good one peace out thanks for watching goodbye